Holy cow, welcome to Donnie's Hangout Adventures and a rare video on YouTube. Well, <laughs> what? Yeah, Chris Rock, Chris Rock and Will Smith. Do you realize it's been a year, about a year, since this? Hmm. You know, everybody else, everybody else in the free world said this was real. There was real tension. There was real heat. Hmm. I don't. I don't buy that. I've never bought that from day one because I've watched the I've, I've watched it several times. The slap, or I, don't know, or I like to call it the bitch slap heard around the world. I've watched it several times. You know. If it was a punch, bam, like that, okay, I could buy there was real heat, but a slap, you know how often WWE does that? They do it a lot, people, they do it a lot, especially if it involves Stephanie McMahon. You go back and you watch and you will notice that she does that slap a lot, and it's usually right here, right here on the mouth. You know, she take, takes her hand, backhand, and pow. And if you look at the video, and if you look at some WWE wrestlers, they have to stand there and they have to get ready for a slap. Same thing happened at the Oscars. The same thing happened at the Oscars. You know, standing there, waiting for the slap. You know, it, 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 he knows it's coming. He knows it's coming. Chris Rock does. So he knows it's coming, and of course Will Smith goes to apologize. Of course, of course, just like a WWE storyline. Does Chris Rock accept apology? No, he does not. He does not accept apology at all. So unlike a lot of people say, well, that slap was real. You have to make it look real for, to make it believable. <laughs> Duh. So. And the question is this, who has benefited the most from this? That's a good question. That's a good question. Let's take a look at this. Will Smith, movie came out, Emancipation or something, Emancipation or something like that, you know, about slavery and he's a runaway slave and all that. The story, I, I don't, don't think I'll ever watch it, none left be that as it may. I guess the storyline of it is, I mean, the storyline, you know, Slave and all that. and it's, it's got mixed reviews about it, but they praised Will Smith's performance in the movie. Wouldn't it be ironic with him supposedly being banned from the Oscars of winning, another, uh, winning an Oscar for the movie? So has Will Smith benefited from it? What? Yeah. Will Smith has clearly benefited from slapping Chris Rock. What about the person that got slapped, Chris Rock? Has he benefited from it? Oh yeah, he has. He's going to have a CNN special. Not a CNN special. Uh, he's going to have a Netflix special coming to Netflix. That's what I was trying to say. Another stand-up comedy show. And he's going to address, he's going to address the slap. Of course, why wouldn't he? He's benefited. He's benefited from it. Will Smith has benefited from it. So who has benefited the most from this bitch slap heard around the world? Actually, both. Will Smith, who did the slap. Chris Rock, who received the slap. So they have clearly both benefited from this. And what else is there to do? You see, this is just very reminiscent. It almost sounds exactly, it's almost going to script like a WWE storyline. It's nearly going like that. That they're going to drag this out. They're going to drag it out. Just like they do in WWE storylines. And they're going to do the same thing. And they're going to drag it out. And they're dragging it out. No question about it. Oh yes, they're really dragging out. 
It's went on for a year, about a year, give or take, about a year. And so they're going to drag it out. And they're going to say, you know, Will Smith's having a hard time recovering from the mistake he made. Yeah, okay. You had a movie coming out. And Chris Rock, he, from the slap, he hasn't done very well since then. Okay. You have a stand-up comedy special on Netflix. So clearly you're doing okay. Will Smith is doing okay. Why is it nobody can see clearly that this was scripted, planned out, and the slap was probably rehearsed? I'm sorry. Nobody else can see it. But I do. From day one, from the first day I heard this happen, I says, that's a work. That's clearly a work. That's clearly a script if you don't know what a work means. That's clearly what it was. That's what it has, always has been. That's what it will always be about. But usually, when the storylines like this you have, usually one benefits. But actually, in this case, both Smith and Rock have both benefited from it, and they're clearly taking the storyline and milking it for as much money as they can. Why don't we have a WrestleMania match at that WrestleMania match at this moment? Still Cage, Chris Rock, Will Smith, they get it on. Why not? No, no, they couldn't have a Still Cage. You gotta have a Hell in a Cell match. That would conclude this storyline and end it. Okay, maybe I'm a little over the top, but you get my point. You get my point that this was so well scripted. There's a lot of people that say it wasn't. I'm not one of them. I'm not one of them because clearly this was planned and staged out and it was a work, of course, scripted. That's what, that's what, that's what a work means. And so no question, they both have benefited from this and they will continue to benefit from this going forward for the next few years. No question about it. I'm not on the board of a train like a lot of people say, well, Will Smith went up a lot of abuse from his wife. If he did, so be it. So be it. He's the one that's still married to her. So, so be it. If that's true, but again, it may not be true. That also could be a work or a script in and of itself. Think about that for a minute. Mr. Cow, anything you want to add? No? That's all, folks.